Hello and welcome to Breathing Design. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Let's get started with the tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to create an illustration using Photoshop. Now this particular plan was created in Rivet and this is how it looks in 3D. Uh, if you want to learn how to model this entire uh, floor plan, 2D as well as 3D and create isometric views like this, please drop a comment below and uh, I can either conduct a workshop or I can send you guys a recorded session or I can make another YouTube video about it. So please let me know in the comment section. First, let's create a PDF by clicking on Control P and this will pop up. Go to the setup and uh, let's just go ahead with an A4 sheet. And if you click on preview, you'll be able to see what your PDF or your print will look like. If you're okay with it, just click on print. Now click on OK and uh, specify the location and the name of the file. This way you can save uh, any rivet file in the form of PDF. Now let's open Photoshop and get started. Click on create new and we have a lot of options to choose from for print, art and illustration and stuff like that. But for this particular illustration, I'll just be going ahead with the A4 option. So go to print and under print you have the A4 button. Make sure you set the orientation right, either vertical or horizontal. And also there are a lot of units that you can choose from. I'll just be going ahead with what it is there right now. Also there is resolution and click on create. Now let's just go ahead and open by clicking on file, open and specify the location where you've saved the flow plan and uh, click on OK. This will open another window. All you have to do is drag and drop it to your current file and just set, set it up properly. Before we move ahead, uh, let's just set the background first. And for this particular illustration, I'll be doing a gradient background. So to set a background, you have to click on the properties button and under fill, you can go ahead and pick any color that you want to. Uh, it can be anything of your choice. Uh, you also have custom options like white, black, transparent. For this particular illustration, I will be using the gradient background. So for that, I'll be creating a rectangle first. So in order to do that, uh, click on the three lines and click on the rectangular tool. Make sure the borders are slightly uh, away from the border of your A4 sheet. And now uh, remove the stroke line and we'll add the fill line. You have no fill, solid fill, gradient fill and pattern fill. We'll be going ahead with the gradient fill. We have a lot of preset options. Uh, available in Photoshop, but we'll be creating something custom. For that, I already have uh, the color codes with me, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that. You can use any color that you want to. So once I've set the colors, I will now be setting the angle of the gradient. Once the angle is set, I will be setting the extent of the color for each gradient option, like this. You can make it darker or lighter or however you want it. So this looks good for me. Next up, I'm going to set the layers properly and make sure that the flow plan is on top so that it's visible like this. 
now i'm just going to erase this little line that i can see on my plan which i don't need and erase all of the extra lines that i will not be needing it once we're done with that uh, let's just set the size or the scale of this floor plan by clicking in control and left click of our mouse and center it using the lines the pink lines are the guidelines for the center Next up, we're going to draw lines on the walls of the floor plan. So for that, click on the three lines again and go to the line tool. Also, if you want the line to be straight, press shift and drag the lines. So make sure uh, you select the right color, whichever you need. And make sure the fill is off and also the lines is straight and set the thickness properly. So once the thickness is set according to your convenience or according to the plan, now let's just go ahead and model the rest of the lines like this. The lines can be a little uh, away from the boundary, that's okay because eventually we're going to bring this floor plan up so it won't be visible that much. So it does not necessarily have to be in the straight line but make sure it is filled inside. Since it's a CAD plan, the inside of the walls have not been filled. You can do this in Rivet as well if you want it but since I've not done this, I'm using this tool to go ahead and fill up the space between the lines. Here the lines are a bit uh, thinner, so I'm just going to change the thickness of the line. Alright, so I'm done with modeling all of the lines. And what I'm going to do now is select all of the lines that I've just created one by one by pressing shift and selecting everything. And I'm going to merge everything into one single layer. Alright, so now we have put it in under one single layer. Let's just bring our original floor plan back to the top. Now let's just create an overlay for the floor plan. Uh, click on the layer, right click on it and go to blending options. Under that we have color overlay and you can change the color to any color you want. You can either keep it pink or white or anything like that. Here I'm adding a little bit of an effect of bewells like this. Uh, you can just play around with the effects. I'm not going to get in detail uh, with the directions and the effects. If you just move around the cursor a little bit, you'll be able to decide what looks good for you. And you can just go ahead and do that. So as you can see, I'm changing the angles a little bit, playing around with the depth and all of that. So you can do that as well. This looks good for me for now. So let's just move ahead. Now let's select the floor plan and go to the blending options. 
and for this let's create a color overlay of white Now moving forward, let's add our uh, shadows to this. We'll be selecting the lines and again go to blending options and click on drop shadow. And this is one of the options that you can add uh, shadows to your floor plan. You can just change the distance, depth, size and all of that. Um, and there is another option that I want to teach you guys. So let's just go ahead and learn that first. For that, you have to create a duplicate layer of this existing uh, lines, the layer that we have. So for that, click on that layer, right click and go and click on duplicate layer. So that way, another layer will be created. And then go to filter. Blur gallery and then path. Now just change this one to the second option, and this is what it looks like. Set the angle right by moving the arrow and set the depth properly. Once we're done with that. This is how it's going to look like. That was the blur and this is the shadow. Can you see the difference between both? I'm just going to make a few changes by changing the angle to what I used in the path blur category. And I would like to use both these options. And so that makes it a little more nicer it gives more depth to the shadows let's uh, move ahead and add the extra elements like the vectors for that go to open and open the tree vector like this uh, and then go to edit and click on define brush pattern press ok and now go to the original file uh, make sure you've selected the background on which you'll be placing it and this is what it looks like. If it's too big for you, the brush, uh, you can always change the size as per your convenience. Similarly, you can place smaller ones as well. So like this, uh, using the brush, define brush uh, tool, you can add any sort of vectors that you like. Once that is done, let's add a couple of lines. So go to the pen tool and click on free flow pen. And make sure the color is set right and the pattern of the line is set right. So once that is done, just draw a curve like this. And this is what it looks like. Similarly, let's create a couple more lines like this just to add the effect. Uh, you can also uh, form contour lines by using this method. Our illustration is now complete and this is what it looks like. Uh, in order to save it, uh, go ahead and save as this to any format, be it PDF, JPEG or PNG. Uh, name it as per your convenience and click on save. This is what our final illustration looks like. Uh, similarly like this, I have created another illustration like this. If you want to learn how to create this, please drop a message in the comment section and I'll definitely look into it. If a lot of people are interested, I will uh, create another tutorial on how to create these as well. If you like the video, please give the video a thumbs up 
and if you're new here subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos as well